noticed too is that property values have gone up. I had a I had a client just on the phone with me right before the show started, and we did her purchase a year ago, and her property has already gone up, you know, ten percent. So we're at a, we're at a position where we've got you know fifteen percent equity instead of five percent equity, and we are able to reduce that mortgage insurance. So not only are we dropping our interest rate, but we're lowering the mortgage insurance. Which is going to save her about four to five hundred dollars a month. So I think we were actually, you know, four ninety seven or something. And obviously that that savings is not for everybody. It's based on your loan amount and the interest rate and the difference in your rate today to what the new rate would be. But there is a significant amount of savings that can happen, you know, if if you do just reach out and and talk to us and see. We're going to be very honest with you, Larry. How many times do you tell a client when they call in wondering if it's a good idea to do a refinance? How many times do you say, you know, I think you should just stay put, stick with what you've got? It does happen. I mean, it happened yesterday. You, you know, he had a pretty good rate and, he, you know, he was going to save a quarter of a point, but I told him it wasn't worth, you know, let's wait and see what happens. But I don't think it's worth me spending, you know, $3,000 right now to, to save 65 bucks a month. It does happen. But more often than not, like Debbie said, if you bought a home prior to this year, Chances are you're going to be able to finance and save a lot of money. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Everybody's situation is different. That's why we look at each situation. We don't just say blanket. Everybody's going to save money. We're not one of those TV commercials where call us and you're going to save money automatically. We'll tell you, you know, if it's a good deal. We'll tell you if it's worth it, you know, which is why I like working for Debbie. You know, there's we tell you the way it is. We give you the honest answer, good or bad. You're going to know where you stand. Right out the and, door right out the door, you know, before you spend a dollar. Right. Yeah. We don't want people paying for appraisals on loans that aren't going to close. I mean, obviously there's the, the rare situation where, you know, we get an appraisal back and it came in a lot lower than what we had thought or we had anticipated that that, you know, property value would be. That obviously is something totally out of our control. You know, that that's an appraisal issue. But we're not going to send somebody into underwriting unless we're truly going to save them money to do the refinance. We're not going to send them into underwriting if we can't get the loan done. So if it's not going to get approved, it's not going to make it through underwriting. We're not going to send you in. We're not going to drag you through the mud. We're not going to order the appraisal. We're not going to charge you money. It, it's just not the way that we work. And so I do want everybody to hear that, that it's very, very important to us, our reputation, that, you know, if you're, if you, if it makes sense for you to do it, then we're going to advise of that. But if it doesn't make sense or there isn't a large enough savings, then we're going to tell you, stay with what you've got. You know, one of the things that comes up a lot, and I know, Larry, that you can chime in on this, is we've got a lot of clients that we'll call that have smaller loan amounts. So maybe 150000 maybe 200000 that they owe on their home. And, you know, for California, that's a smaller loan amount. Uh, it's it's not necessarily a small amount. You know, obviously, you still owe $150,000 or 200000 right. We're not discounting that. But interest rates are so low that you don't necessarily see the amount of savings that you think that you would by doing a refinance, even if you're dropping your interest rate by a point. So, you know, what what do you say about that, Larry? What do you see? I agree with that. I mean, it's not only about refinancing too, it's about purchasing. Like if you're not sure that you're ready, you're not sure you have a down payment, you're not sure what your credit score is, we're going to call us and we're going to walk you through the process and you're going to know by the time the conversation is over where you stand. Here's what you qualify for and not only what you qualify for, but where your comfort level is with a payment. Because it's just as important to know that you qualify for, let's say, $500,000, but your comfort level is $400,000. It's just as important to know that information. So we're gonna give you that information so that you know where you stand before you start you know, looking for a home. So when you speak with your realtor, you're going to know, here's my qualifications, here's where I wanna be, here's what I'm looking for. So we have all that information and we're used to working with realtors. So when we speak to them, we speak their lingo because not everybody does. And we're gonna to talk to them and know exactly what to tell them so that you feel comfortable with the process because you're already going to be approved by the time you talk to a realtor. Yeah, we, we definitely don't want to get people out in a car looking for a home, you know, falling in love with the property, wasting a real estate agent's time. That, that, that just is, it's not good for anybody. You know, you when you see that home that you're ready to make that offer on, you are already in love. 
And, you know, to then find out a week or two later that you don't qualify for it and you're already in escrow and you put money, you know, you've already sent your earnest money deposit in and now you've got to back out. You've probably paid for, not with us, but with other lenders, you've probably paid for the appraisal already. And, you know, now all of a sudden you're finding out that there's a problem and you're not going to get that loan approved. You're having a problem through underwriting. So I'm actually happy that you brought that up, Larry, because, you know, we work for Movement Mortgage. Mortgage Mom Radio is my radio show. We're bringing you guys education and information on a weekly basis. We're hoping to educate all of our listeners to either get into a better cash flow situation, you know, get a refinance under control, take advantage of interest rates, or buy a home, buy a home, buy a home. That's the most important thing. So talk a little bit, Larry, I'm, and I'm, I'm fo- focusing on you today because I want people to understand how good that you are and that you are going <laughs> to handle things better than I will <laughs> when I'm out of I town. So, you I know, uh, you know, we're, I, I think so. I, I think that I think uh, you, you would not work for me if I did not have absolute full confidence in you and, and your abilities and, and, and you work the way that I do and you're honest the way that I am. And it just, you know, we fit, we fit together and I love it. Uh, and that's why you're my mortgage dad. But talk a little bit about, you know, the movement mortgage pre-approval process, because I think that that's a big thing that that can really benefit both real estate agents that are listening to us right now that might have a client that wants to go out and look and put them in their car and spend time with them, especially right now with COVID when everybody's trying to be very careful and you don't want to be showing property unless you have to. Um, But it's also really good for that buyer because the last thing that we want somebody to do is to really be let down. Right. There's nothing worse than, you know, finding the home of your dreams after you looked at, you know, 30 homes and the real estate agents driven all around town and all the communities you want to look at and you find a home that's perfect, you make an offer, the seller accepts it, you put your deposit in escrow and then you find out, you know, 17 days in or 21 days into the escrow, there's a problem. And that's heartbreaking. So what we do to circumvent that is we get all your information up front. We're going to talk to you. We're going to get all your documents, whether it's your, you know, all your income and asset documents. We're going to run your credit and then we we are one of the few companies in this entire country that will give the file to an underwriter, the person who actually approved loans, and say, look at Mr. and Mrs. Jones here and tell me what you think. And they're going to give us an approval based on their opinion. And their opinion, as much as I've been doing this for 30 years, I don't know everything. So the underwriter who actually approved loans, they're going to say, look, you're approved for X amount. And then you can take that and go to the realtor. And then there's no surprises. You can start packing that day because you know that you are set. And like I said, most companies don't do that process. So we have like a a, a really unique process where we can send in all the information to an underwriter and have them look at your income, have them examine your credit, have them look at everything, your paychecks and everything and determine here's where they qualify. And I'm, and I know if you're not used to buying a home, but I got to tell you, this is extremely rare in the mortgage industry because underwriters are very expensive people. And 99% of the companies won't take the time to do that process. So you know, as well as your realtor goes, oh, well, you're already, you're already approved by mortgage, movement mortgage. That's great. Let's go look at homes because you can take a deep breath. You can go to the store and behind and drive through the alley and pick up your boxes now. You can do all that ahead of time because you know that you're set to go. And I and buying a home is so stressful. I mean, I bought like five or six homes in my life, and I tell you, I stress out, and I'm in the business. <laughs> so I know, right? I yeah. Mean, it's a stressful time because you got to pack, you got to move, you got to call the utility companies, you got to do all this stuff. You worry about whether your loan's going to be approved, and you wait and hold your breath 21 days or three weeks into the process, going. And, you know, you go to bed every night with your hands, your knees, your, you know, knee down at the bed and you're praying to God that please approve my loan, please approve my loan. Oh, yeah. And you're just waiting. All the stress is going to be away. Yeah. And you're just waiting on the, you're just waiting on the edge of your seat for that, you know, for that phone call that says that your loan's been approved and and you're, you know, you're, you don't know whether to get excited yet. You don't know whether to start packing. You don't know whether, you know, you should start changing your mailing address. You know, there's a lot of things that create the stress in that, in that purchase, you know, in that transaction. And you just, you're kind of like on hold waiting. And imagine if you had to wait two, three weeks to get that answer. And trust me, that, that happens all all the time. We see it. We get those phone calls on, you know, the third week of a 30-day escrow that says, 
can you please look at this file and see if there's any way that you can rescue it because these, you know, these clients just got declined by a different lender. We get that call weekly. And, and you know what? A lot of times we fix it and we do get it closed and we do it very, very quick and we get it done. And Movement Mortgage is just known for their speed and they're just absolutely fantastic when it comes to that. And it's also our team. Our team is very good at what we do. Like Larry said, you know, we don't know everything. I mean, we try so hard and, and you know, we're, we're making sure that every underwriting guideline that we can possibly remember that we're remembering, we're getting into guidelines, underwriting guidelines, making sure we're staying up to date with those, which are obviously changing very rapidly right now in this, you know, particular time frame. But we're doing our very best to wear the hat of an underwriter, even though we are not one. And that is not even our primary job. Our primary job is to be a salesperson. Our primary job is to be an educator. Our primary job is to be, you know, a coach. We're we're coaching you through the process. We're holding your hand. We're a counselor. We're, you know, a salesperson. We're, we're doing all of those pieces. Plus, you know, we've taken the time, me and my team, to truly understand oh, the underwriting oh, guidelines and the income calculations and making sure that we're doing oh, that information oh, and and taking those steps up front so that you don't have anything to worry about once we say, here's your letter, get in the car and go. And so I just want to make sure that everybody really lets that absorb and kick in. It is a big, big difference between what you typically get. So, you know, if you've been thinking about buying a home, call Larry and get yourself pre-approved and then call a realtor. Do it the right way. Start with your loan and then move on you know, to the, to the loan, uh, to the sales part of it, you know, buying the house. I got, uh, I, I'd like to add that if I could, too, yeah. that it'll, it'll, oh, it'll yeah. relieve some of your stress yes. as you're going through the oh, transaction. Oh, oh. Um, and it is stressful. Like I said, you're buying, you know, obviously the most expensive item that you'll probably ever buy. And there's a lot of stress just doing that. Even if you're paying cash, there's stress. So if you, if we can take some of that stress off of you, Please let us do that for you. I've you know done this for 30 plus years, and you know since I was 12. And you can really you know take advantage of our knowledge, and we're going to help you find the home that you want, help you find the loan that you want. There's a lot of different options, and you should know those options before you ever get in the real estate agent. Absolutely. Let us help you with that, and then you'll find out how simple the process can be, and you'll. You won't have those horror stories that you always hear. Well, you know, at the last moment, I owe an extra three thousand dollars, or you know, they told me I don't qualify because I have this or that. You're gonna know, and then we can deal with it up front. Get you, if there's a problem, we'll know up front. We deal with it, we fix it, and then so you can buy it and and take a deep breath and, and enjoy the process. Absolutely. And Matt, you said it looked like you had something that uh, somebody was giving us a question. Yeah. No, nope, just wanted to pop in. Uh, hi, Lori. Sure here okay. and says hi. Oh, hi, Aunt Lori. Thank you so much for watching. Great, I see that every week. I love that my family watches the show. Um, you know, and everybody out there that's listening, guys, I know that the majority of you are listening on Go Country on Saturday morning, and we love that. We love it, we love it, we love it. But if you guys do want to be able to watch us do this live, and it's truly live, we're, we're taking the sound from. The, the Wednesday Live at 5, you know, podcast or YouTube or Facebook, whatever you want to call it. But we're taking this sound and we're literally sending it to Go Country uh, for the radio Saturday morning. So anybody that's out there listening, guys, watch us, follow us, go to YouTube. It's Mortgage Mom Radio. Subscribe to our channel. Click on the notification button. That way you know that...